Hey guys, it's Rob Seabrook with Paperless Humans. Welcome to the last episode of this free Apple Notes course. For settings, we recommend you go to our website. We have a user guide for that. We will have a link to it in the description down below. To add a PDF to your notes in Apple Notes, you must split view your screen. To drag and drop the document from its location on your iPad. This creates a thumbnail of the PDF that you can display as small, medium, or large. By default, in iPadOS 17, they display as large. To change the size of the document, go to the down facing arrow on the document name, go to view as, and choose the size you want. You can also resize the PDF reading window by simply zooming in and out with your fingers. To view the PDF in full screen, in the markup window, go to Quick Look under the down facing arrow. For inline PDF reading, the PDF scrolls horizontally and you can use the pen tools in Apple Notes to annotate the PDF. For faster navigation, the app recognizes and can open hyperlinks. Simply tap on them. You can annotate your PDF using all the tools you can use for handwriting notes in the app. That includes adding stickers, text, signatures, and shapes, but it's a hit and miss. To edit the pages in your PDF, go to Show Thumbnails. The app displays all the pages in your PDF that you can quickly scroll through. You can also rearrange the pages in your document by long pressing to pick up the page then dragging and dropping where you want it. Tapping on a page brings up a three dots icon and when you tap on it, it gives you the option to do several things. You can copy the page and paste it anywhere you want. You can rotate left or right. You can insert blank page to add a new empty page with a plain page template. This is useful when you have a lot of notes you want to add to your PDF. You can also insert from file to add a PDF to the document. Scan pages will add scanned PDFs to your document. And lastly, you can delete page. 
The annotation tools for full screen reading in Markup are the same. However, in Markup, you also get autofill for PDF forms in Apple Notes. It recognizes text fields that you need to fill out. The feature can also add signatures. and create text fields in your forms. The feature is still very basic and it can't interact with any other features in the PDF form. So you have to fill those manually. And this brings us to the end of this free Apple Notes course. We will be adding more episodes as we receive more updates later on. We hope you guys have found this course useful. Share it with your loved ones and subscribe. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next episode.